Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm going to show you guys this quick scav run. I don't have the best gear, um, like bag and stuff on the scav, but I'll show you as a quick scav run. And has anyone noticed it's snowing in Tarkov? So, that's new. It's pretty cool. So let's, let's go. So I should have trailer park. So just a trailer park work stash. Worker shack, sorry. So we run up here. I'll show you guys. So what we want to do on a scab is pretty much just make the most money and have the best loot possible. So in here, so there's one to two military crates. With these military crates, they can spawn RDs, they can spawn everything. So let's see what we get. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh, and they haven't been looted. Gen 3 mags, not bad. Oh, look at them bullets, baby. Idea rig. PP rounds, let's go. What a start. Oh, PP rounds and M8565A1. Oh, another one. Oh, Banshee, let's go. And two Gen 3 mags, guys. And a, uh, a, uh, a scope. Guys, look at that. I've been in here for like three seconds. And I've already found, a, I think that's a tier 4 armor, unless I've changed it. Tier 4 armor, armored rig, I found a sight, two gen 3 mags. Alright, Not many, a lot of people forget about this little hole, we go through there. If you are looking for Sullowers, Sullowers can spawn there, but I got sugar. <laughs> And it can also spawn in here, but nothing spawned there today. This is so different playing on snow map. We'll quickly look in here for a packet of noodles. I'm looking for a packet of noodles at the moment. I've already found my hard drives and stuff like that. And I'll also look for the gas analyzers. This hasn't been looted, guys. Look at that. Grab that for now. So guys, this is easily going to be one of the best and fastest methods of making money on a scav. Wait till we, as long as the other section hasn't been looted, I'll show you what we get. Hopefully find a bag or something soon though. Ooh, key, 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 220, I think we need that one. Alright, let's go. So now you want to go through the hole in the wall. I wouldn't waste my time going over to Big Red. You can get some some decent stuff, but I just run over here, and it has not been looted by the looks of it. So let's go. Let's see what we get. Even if I have a full inventory, I'll still do the full run just so you guys can see the full run. Uh, the beard is worth more than that. So all this stuff has so much potential of dropping so much loot. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No. Can you all grab the glasses? Don't worry. Or oh, PP rounds. Vector. Don't worry, these are just player scabs. There's heaps of them, eh? NPC scabs, I mean. Here has a lot of um, chance of dropping uh, a few guns in there. Here's a graphic card spawn on this bed as well. Um, I found my first pack of noodles in one of these bags. I don't need them, I've got heaps of them. But yeah, that was a graphic card and a Tetra spawn back there. On that bed. So, this dead scav can have some good stuff as well. Nuts. Uh, I'm not going to grab the helix because I have a couple of, in my base already and I know I'm going to get some more better stuff. So then you go over to here. Then there's two military crates and a, a jacket. FMJ. Zook. Look at that. Look how much gear I found. If I had a bigger bag, I would be taking that. Oh. There's people shooting out of the scabs, so let's, let's speed it up a little bit.
Let's try to drop him. Decent. Anyway, let's go find some more. I thought I saw something there. Nice. Anyway, let's go back to that looting. So we go back from the military crate. Dead scabs here. Check here always because armor repair kit and weapon uh, kit on that case or on the floor there. Sometimes you can get a good spawn here, like a fire seal. Or that. If you need a measuring tape, I got a few already in the chest. And sometimes it spawns like cameras and stuff. Because cameras are pretty expensive, to be honest. It's kind of like those guys just shot all the scabs and then dipped. Oh, I've got something there. Come on, give me something. I've got a lead X in this one before. And I've also... I've been picking these tacos up, but I don't know. I probably need a request. I found a graphic card and a, um, noodles in here, guys. So, this is where I found mine. I'm trying to get that last pair of noodles, though. There's also another tech bag here. Track it there for now. So yeah, that's the the quick quick run there. Now we'll run over to here. What you want to do is you run over here. You check the two rare spawns. So you check here. So there's a spawn right there on the floor. Um, you check here, sometimes there's a spawn on the couch or in here, but there's nothing as of yet. And then there should be two crates in here. I know there's a high chance of getting thermites in here. I've got them a quite a few times. I've got four this wipe so far. Okay, it looks like I'm throwing some stuff out. Okay. Oh, yeah, I like it. Alright. Let's just get rid of the, th the two Gen 3 mags. Yeah, there's a high chance of getting some decent loot in this. Just wish I had a bigger bag. I need that soap. Um, I'm going to quickly run over to here to look for a gas analyzer. Hopefully I don't die. But yeah, that's the quickest trailer park run. I'd call it the trailer park and shacks. There's two dead bodies here, so I'm just going to grab their stuff as well. There's another one somewhere. I saw one on the hill. Another one here. This knife's a lot better than that. I just want these noodles, man. I love the, the the new vault system that they put into the game. It's really good. There's 10 minutes left. I'm going to quickly check these filing cabinets and this little room here. And then get out. Just because I need a gas analyzer for my quest. And there's a high chance of it being in here. Just because of the filing cabinets. Yeah. 
and it looks like it hasn't been loaded. So I'll grab that because I know I need. Uh, I'll get rid of the vector stuff. Yeah. It's not likely. Dom's 303, I've already got that, I think. Nuts. Ooh. Get rid of the Aquamarina. I've got heaps of it. Matches, don't need it. So I don't have much space in my inventory, so I'll show you what I'm going to do to this. Oh, come, come on. Oh, beautiful. What kind of VPO is that? I'll get more money for... Let's go. See what I mean, guys? Like, just going over these areas at the moment are very, very high loot. Just because of, um... The sheer people of just avoiding these areas just to get the... Their quest done. So, at the moment, these, these spots are amazing. Metal parts are better than... Two, two, two. No, I think I need that key actually. Get rid of. Where was it? Bulbs. Bulbs are very expensive, guys. As well. Let's get rid of the nails. I know I have a lot of them. Oh, parts. And then you just run over to here to trailer park. Obviously, I did a little bit of detouring just to look for a couple of quest items, but the main um, section that you need to be focusing on is the section in here and doing those few rooms that I showed you guys, and you will become rich in Tarkov. Um, that's the only scav run I've really been running besides a couple of interchange just for some uh, hideout items just for the, at the start of the game. And I'll quickly show you guys, uh, I'll cut to my stash now. So, guys, I've got Intel folders there, I've got lines, teapots, I've got a, a lot more other stuff too. I've got the maps, they're selling for like 100k at the moment. So, guys, this is, you know, just to show you guys, like, this is the, the way to go. Like, I've... You're finding PP rounds. You're finding a lot of stuff uh, early on as well. So it's a big game changer. Guys, Ibo Gaming out. Look at that. 20 mil as in my stash. Let's go. See you in Tarkov.